Hey everybody, this is just a quick review on this mouse trap that I got from iHomey on Amazon. And it's a humane mouse trap, it won't kill the mouse, and you can set it free. Now, in the past, I've been using ones like this that don't kill the mouse. Let me show you how this works. Mouse goes in here and tilts up when he gets into that end. Like that, and it traps him. But this only works 60% of the time. And this new one, I'll open it up here. I know it will work. 100% of the time. It's really cool. Let me show you. Okay. Now, here's how this trap works. You set the door where the mouse goes in, and this latches right there. And it's super spring-loaded. And on this side is where the food goes. In this compartment, you put the food on the side with holes. Use peanut butter just smear it up in there so they can smell it. And then let me show you how this works as if there was a mouse in there. Just go on the pad, bam, the door snaps shut. So I'll set this again. And one thing, when you put this back in, when it's set, uh, I don't, I'm not gonna put it down all the way because this is a little bit hard to get off. It was a little stiff and I didn't wanna be yanking on this thing with a mouse inside of it when, when uh, when there's a mouse caught. But, uh, so I just left it almost all the way down and it'll work fine. But anyway, let me show you how to load this thing. Okay, I'm gonna put some peanut butter inside of it now. And you can see here it has two compartments. I'm just gonna take peanut butter and put it right across those holes. Just like that on both sides. Hopefully that smells really strong to the mouse. And I'm just gonna put side with the holes in first. Oh, there we go. Just like that. And I'm not going to press it all the way down. Like I said, it's a little stiff to get out. But there's no way the mouse is going to get through this back. Because he's not going to be able to lift that up. So uh, that's all. I'm going to put set these up and we'll see if we get a mouse. Really excited. This is the first place I'm going to put one is on the shelf because I had some tomato skins from uh, tomatoes that I had peeled and gotten the seeds out to save some seeds. And uh, I set them up here to dry. I was just going to throw the skins into the ground in the spring to see what would come up. And a mouse came that night and ate every piece of skin there was. <laughs> so one goes here, and then I have another one right over here by my plants. Uh, I had some young pepper seedlings, and the mouse came and nibbled each one off. And that happened to me before. So uh, we'll see if I get one or two. I had no luck putting the traps on the shelves. Uh, after two days, I didn't have any mice. And um, so I put it on the floor here because the mice were nibbling on my radish plants here that I have on the floor. So I kind of put it in a dark spot over in this place behind my air compressor. And I put two traps. That first one is empty and this one has a customer. So I got to take the customer out and bring him down the street and let him go. So very happy with these. They do work, and it took three days, but I just had it in the wrong spot, I guess. So very happy, and uh, I give this five stars. Take care, everybody.